Hey, Tony here. Today I'm going to tell you my top 25 Christmas films, so stay tuned. So today I wanted to take time to tell you what my top 25 Christmas films are for this year. Um, this list can change from year to year, so this will definitely just be my selections for this particular year. I am watching at least one Christmas movie every single day during the month of December up through the 25 days of Christmas. So some of these I've seen um, this year, some of them I have not, and I may not visit them this year, but this right here is a current list of my top 25 for right now. Um, so I'll start with number 25 and kind of go backwards, maybe tell you a little bit about why I like this particular film. So first up at number 25, we have Last Christmas. I just um, watched this for the first time. Me and my wife watched this one, I think it was last Christmas season and we really enjoyed it. Somebody had recommended that we check it out. Um, just looking at this, I would have never even thought that it was a Christmas movie, um, but we were pleasantly surprised about how much we really enjoyed this one. If you like a really good romantic comedy with a little surprise, then this right here is one that you should definitely check out. Okay, at number 24, I went with The Polar Express. Um, I saw this one in the theater when it was released. I saw it in 3D, and... You know, I know a lot of people do not like the animation style on this particular film, but I really just enjoyed it. It's probably the mood that I was in that day. Um, I do enjoy animation. I do enjoy 3D. And so I think it being a theater experience made this a little bit more enjoy uh, enjoyable for me. Okay, number 23 is a film, another film that I saw when it originally aired in the theater, and that was Edward Scissorhands. I have revisited this a few times since then. Um, last time I watched this one was last year. Really enjoyed it. It's very Christmassy. It's got some horror elements in it. Um, just a really dark, um, I don't know if you would call it a comedy. Anyway, but it was, it was a really enjoyable film. If you've never seen Edward Scissorhands, definitely check that one out. Another new one that I watched last year was Four Christmases. This right here was from another recommendation. And I really do enjoy Vince Vaughn and Reese Witherspoon. I thought their chemistry was really well done in this particular romantic comedy. And it was fun just to see how they spent these four Christmases with their families and the different characters that we met throughout the film. Okay, next up would be Die Hard 2, uh, which I'm not really going to go into much of the Die Hard movies, um, but Die Hard 2 is what I've selected for my number 21 favorite Christmas movies. I enjoy all the Die Hard films, some more than others, um, but I do enjoy all of them as a um, franchise. Okay, next up at number 20, no, at number 20 is Jingle All the Way. Now, this is not my favorite Christmas movie and not my favorite Arnold movie, but it's a fun movie. It's, it's really um, fun to see these different um, situations that they were in. Um, last minute shopping, you know, I can relate to some of that with young kids when I had young kids, but I really enjoyed this one. Um, okay, at number 19, we have The Nightmare Before Christmas. I really enjoy this as a Christmas film more than a Halloween film. I enjoy the stop-motion animation. I enjoy the characters. Um, just the way, the overall look of it is just very enjoyable to me. So that right there is my number 19 pick. Okay, at number 18 is A Christmas Story. Um, this one I wasn't a big fan of growing up. But as the years progressed and I got older, I've kind of enjoyed it a little bit more and more. Um, they do show this one quite a bit around the holidays, especially on Christmas Day. And whenever I go to my in-laws, that's usually what's on the TV. So I do end up sitting around watching this one. But this is one that you can watch even when it's already been on for 30, 40 minutes and just pick right up into it. So I do enjoy A Christmas Story. Okay, at number 17, I have a Charles Dickens Christmas Carol. This right here is from 1938, and this was my first year watching this one, and it did make my top 25 just because I really enjoyed it. Um, it is um, a black and white film, of course, from 1938. I enjoy um, the Charles Dickens tale of Scrooge, and this right here was a, uh, the first time of me seeing this particular um, rendition of that, and I really enjoyed it. It's less than an hour long, which made it made it a lot easy to watch. And so if you've never checked out this version, definitely check this one out. Okay, at number 16, we have um, Black Christmas from 1974. I've only seen this one a few times. I know a lot of people do not like it, 
but I enjoyed it for what it was. I do enjoy the 70s slasher type films. They are a lot slower paced than what we see nowadays, but overall I really did enjoy um, Black Christmas. Okay, number 14, we have Scrooged, which is another telling of A Christmas Carol um, starring Bill Murray. I saw this one in the theater when it came out, and I've enjoyed it ever since. It is a dark look at this particular character's life and his decisions that he's made, and it's just a really, really fun movie. Like I said, it's dark. Um, the music's great. If you've never seen Scrooge, um, do yourself a favor and check that out. Okay, at number 13 um, is Die Hard with this Christmas slipcover for those that don't believe Die Hard is a Christmas movie. But I enjoy action films, and Die Hard is one of those action films that I really enjoy. It doesn't matter if it's at Christmas time or any other time of the year. It's just a great story, and so this is definitely on my Christmas top 25. Okay, at number 12 we have Elf. Um, Elf is a film that you can only, at least me, I can only take so much of it. I don't watch it every single year, but I do enjoy it when I do watch it. It is a funny movie. I think Will Ferrell does a great job. Um, I'm not the biggest Will Ferrell fan, but when he does do something really funny, I do, uh, I do tend to enjoy it. So Elf is at number 12. At number 11, we have A Charlie Brown Christmas. I've always been a fan of this ever since I was a little kid. This is one of the Christmas um, television specials that we watched every single year when it came on TV once a year. And so it just holds a good nostalgic place in my heart. Another one similar to that would be number 10, Frosty the Snowman. It's another one that we watched as kids. It only came on once a year, and it was always fun to sit down and watch these um, holiday specials. Um, same way with Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, which is at number 9. Um, it had its 50th anniversary not long ago. I'm, I'll be 54 next month, so I've been watching this my whole life. And it is one of those that I pretty much watch every single year. Um, I don't particularly watch it when it's on TV. I usually just pop in the Blu-ray um, or the DVD or whatever other version of this film I have because I do have it quite a, quite a few times. But I just love Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Okay, at number eight, we have this nice holiday horror film called Krampus. If you're from the South, it's called Krampus. I think I've heard people pronounce it Krampus. But either way, it is a really fun movie. I enjoy it. It's a nice little telling of the story about misbehaving children and what can happen. And so this is a great one to show your kids before the holidays to get them to behave. Okay, at number seven, we have Home Alone 2, which I think is a great sequel. I really enjoyed this one just as much as I enjoy the first one, which we'll go ahead and talk about that one also. At number six, we have Home Alone. So at number six and seven is Home Alone and Home Alone 2. I really enjoy the character of Kevin and the traps that he sets up and the characters that we meet and just the quirkiness of these bumbling uh, criminals. If you've never seen Home Alone, which I can't imagine that anybody has never not seen Home Alone, definitely check these out. Okay, at number five is another one from my childhood called Emmett Otter's Jug Band Christmas. I've been watching this one on the TV ever since it first aired. I remember this coming on um, back when I was a kid and really enjoying it. It does feature Jim Henson's Muppets, um, a bunch of new characters that we've never seen before. Of course, it does have an introduction by Kermit the Frog, but the songs and the music is really just wholesome and family-oriented, and I just really enjoyed it. So if you never checked this one out, Check it out. I, I don't know that it airs on any streaming services, but anyway, I really enjoy watching that. Okay, at number four is another classic. One of my favorite Rankin Bass um, TV specials is um, Santa Claus is Coming to Town. This right here was me and my brother's favorite growing up. We just loved it when it came on TV. I do try to watch this one every single year. I just watched it a few days ago. It definitely holds up for me. It may not appeal to some of the newer viewers, um, younger viewers, but anyways, it's got to be in my top um, five. Okay, at number three, we have Gremlins. Gremlins has been another favorite of mine ever since I saw it in the theater when it was first released. It is a little horror film with cute little creatures and a really simple story. 
um, really dark story, and um, I do love visiting this movie. It has held up ever since I saw it the first time, and still enjoyable today. Um, definitely check out Gremlins if you've never seen it. At number two, we have National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. Always been a favorite of this one. This is another one I saw in the theater when it was released. I remember having such a fun time watching this one in the theater. Um, just a lot of laughs. And it's another one that we try to visit every single year. Um, if you've never seen this movie, definitely check it out. It's got a lot of quotable lines. Okay, at number one, we have the original Miracle on 34th Street. This right here is the 1947 version in black and white. I do enjoy my older black and white films, and I've always enjoyed this one, even the remake. The remake's great also, um, but I tend to enjoy this one just a little bit more. It seems a little bit more magical, but if you've never checked out the original, definitely check it out. It's, it's one of my favorites. Now, I do have some honorable mentions. Some of these are new to my collection from recommendations um, in no particular order. Better Watch Out was a really fun movie. I really enjoyed this one. It's got a nice little twist in it. Um, the Preacher's Wife with Whitney Houston and Denzel Washington was very enjoyable. I enjoyed that one. Um, Love Actually is, a, is another um, Christmas film that I enjoy watching. It didn't quite make my 25. Um, Anna and the Apocalypse is another new one that I just picked up this year based on, I think, Bob's Blu-ray's recommendation. I really enjoyed this film. Christmas, zombies, musical, it all worked very well together. And lastly, this little film called Fred Claus. Um, I really enjoyed this one. This right here has got um, Vince Vaughn and Paul Giamatti in it. Um, just a really fun movie. I had a really good time with it, and I'm definitely I think I'll be visiting this one um, every few Christmases. So those are my top 25 Christmas films for this particular year. Um, please leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think about my top 25, and also give me some recommendations of, of some other Christmas films that you would recommend, because I really do appreciate your recommendations. If you like what you saw here today, please give it a thumbs up and share the video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd really appreciate it if you would subscribe. If you do subscribe, please remember to hit that notification bell so that you can be notified every time I upload a new video. If you haven't found me on my social media accounts, I'm on Instagram, TikTok, and on Twitter. And if you'd like to find out what I've been watching, you can find me over on Letterboxd. I do have links below. But thanks again for watching, and we will see you next time.